Some extra safety devices now in place on Pensacola Beach. They come in the wake of a string of drownings and water rescues last year. WEAR's Brent Carney joining us in the studio now. And Brent, these uh, safety tubes or floats, pretty simple idea. Yeah, pretty simple indeed, Bob. They were placed there this morning at five different locations along Pensacola Beach, mainly where lifeguards don't regularly patrol. You really can't miss them. <laughs> Rosa Island Authority installed these lifeguard floats along the beach with the hopes of reducing the number of drownings and water rescues this year in the Gulf. Well, this is a project that started in Hawaii uh, and it's been proven to save lives of drowning uh, people are drowning and people trying to save the drowners. The Scambia County Emergency Management says there were four drownings on Pensacola Beach and three on Perdido Key in 2023. Two of them were fatal. The floats are lightweight and meant to be thrown or used by people trying to rescue a swimmer in distress. These tubes can make a dramatic difference because um, people can access the tubes very easily. Um, they're easy to remove. Uh, lots of the beach is not uh, patrolled by lifeguards and these will be everywhere down beyond Portofino all the way to the other end. And so that uh, they're spaced out so that if anybody is drowning, uh, or is uh, they can somebody can just remove the the tube from the velcro and do that and it also protects the person going in to save them because they don't have to be the ones to to, to go out and sort of physically try to gr drag the, uh, the swimmer in for safety new this year lifeguards will also be stationed on Perdido Key Escambia County sent me a statement saying they're finalizing those plans the county says lifeguards from Pensacola Beach will be present on the key until permanent lifeguards are hired and the Pensacola Rotary Club is hoping to have more of those floats placed along the beach in the future. Now, as for the lifeguards, if you're interested in joining, they do need some people. Tryouts for the summer season here on Pensacola Beach are tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. at the UWF Aquatic Center. Live in the studio, Brent Carney, WER News.